So we finally arrived at the Southern Edge Bridge in Gleninska. And here we set about trying to find as much loot as we possibly can. But there are obvious signs everywhere that this place is popping. People have been through here. We managed to find some food and start to try and get our vitals up. And as you can hear, there are shots everywhere. So we managed to continue, and we do quite well. We've found quite a little bit of food. We fill ourselves up at the well. And then we find our silenced pistol. There's only two bullets inside. Manage to grab ourselves a press vest. Find a box of ammunition. And now we just want to make sure we've got enough food to continue our journey. So we find the herd of cows. Nine bullets later, we've managed to slay the cow. And as the dark starts to set in, we've decided to travel east of our location to Brenner. But things are looking weary here. There's a couple of dead bodies about on the roads. So we decide to make a run for it over the bridge into Sabotka. We have basic supplies and some food. So we decide to cook the food up and then knuckle down for the night. Where in the morning, when we wake up, we're looking to head south and try and gain some better gear. So we wake up the next morning fully refreshed. We now have food and it's time to loot around Sabotka and see exactly what we can come away with here. We know there's a zombie in here. Let's lock him in. Let's fill up on the waterfront. And then we're going to head over to Colin Brody Way. Now, interestingly enough, at the back end of the Colin Brody military, we find some birds in the sky, which indicates a recent kill. So this doesn't look too inviting. We may have a camper situation on our hands here. And those birds were just over here. I see it. So someone's definitely passed through here recently. <laughs> this is an easy shot right now. Let's get the fuck out of here. So there's a little hunter's hut here. With a couple of is that birds in the there's birds in the foreground as well. Okay. This isn't marked on the map. So what is this? Oh, there's a water fountain here. So we decided to wash our hands and fill up with water before we moved on. Okay, there we go. Right, let's creep out of here. That could be an animal, it could be a person. We have no idea what those birds are. We're not going over there either. We've headed southeast towards Sydney. Is that a base? Okay, there's a big, big base there. Jesus, it goes all the way down. Oh, hold on. Is that open at the front? Oh, there you go. I'm being shot at. So it's time to make our run for it. We're going to zigzag and... Make it look as though we're heading left and then circle round back over to the right hand side. Well there's a a clear warning. And what are we gonna do about that? We've kind of sowed the seed that we're going in the opposite direction. We do need to get to some relative safety very quickly. 
And why that know right now, if whoever took that shot is tracking us. All I know is right at this moment we need to get inside some trees, which we have done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look to see if we can see anything. It doesn't look like we're being tracked. We're going to, I'll tell you what we'll do, we're going to circle round. Oh shit, there's another load of shit. There's another load of shots behind. There's a tent here as well. Oh Jesus. There is a tent here. Oh shit. Shit. It's a shovel. We can't stay here long. We're gonna make a run. Let's go. I'll tell you what we are gonna do though, we're gonna head into town very briefly. Just on the outskirts of this town to just see if there's any ammo. We definitely need some ammo. And we need a weapon, a good weapon. I'm not sure right now if we're going to be able to find any, but there's PD here. There's no one at the well. Hold on, there's a backpack. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the fuck on. Look at that. Look what we found. Damn, we don't need that anymore. We do need all of this, though. Right. Okay, what a find that is. That church has got the... The shutters are open. All right, I'll tell you what we do. <laughs> We are, we're going to push on. We're going to get to a bit of a safer place. So we've headed a little further south when we come across this barn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute, what is going on here? We'll take that. Okay, what's in these crates? I'll take those for the time being, and that. So has this just been left? Or is someone just starting out here? Because that's recent. That is very recent. So we continue heading south and we hit Geritau, where we come across this church. So it looks like there's a base here at the church. Yep, so it does. Uh, okay. Code lock. I need that water fountain. Oh, fucking hell, this is a problem. Can we creep up behind them and get to that water fountain? That will give us a little bit, just enough to make our way down to one of the military sites that's not far from here. Okay, let's get out of here. So we turn our attentions due west to a little military site which remains unnamed. vision scope it is we don't need that though there's a big old radio we don't need that
gloves. Yes, here we go. Starting to have a few little bits that we've been longing for now, that we've been needing for a while. Okay, let's get in here. This could be again a trap, we'll double check. Well, there's no landmines waiting for us. There's no one appears to be behind the door. No, we're good. Take those. We need some free awaits. Desperate need of free awaits. We've got loads of wolves on us. There is a vehicle over there though. There is shitload of wolves here. Fucking hell. a shitload of wolves. I've never seen a pack that big. We're now down in the military, unnamed military, southeast of Nadbor. We start at the southern end of the compound and work our way up. We hit the barracks next. And the good news is we managed to pick up this bear trap. So I'm going to set a little trap here in the hope that we catch someone. Shut the doors up. And go and check out the rest of the place. Get to the top of this building. Overlook the compound. Heading north. Again, all looks really quiet. I think we're we're alone here for the time being. Someone's locked those in there. Say that now. <laughs> Yo, at last. And we come across an M4, finally. Badly damaged, but we've got a gun cleaning kit, so we're going to resolve that. And then we head off into the tree line to overlook where we stuck the bear trap. And then suddenly, we come across a player. Has he fallen over that? So we have a player who's just ran off into that barrack. 
We'll just have to wait and see whether or not he's actually noticed it or ran straight over it. There he is. Oh, he's clearly injured. He's definitely stepped on that bear trap. So we've hit him again. He's had to shut the door. The question is, how has he survived that? So he stepped on our bear trap. He's broken legged. He was then headshot with one 308 round from our blaze. All right, the assault helmet is bulletproof for the first shot. It was a direct hit. Now he's clearly killed that zombie on the floor. There's one door shut. He is clearly behind that shut door. So we better just clear the rest of the rooms first. And then we'll deal with that. Or has he tried to log? I can't hear anything. No sound at all. Yep, yeah, as expected, this is all empty. Jesus, I'm not going to survive longer like this. So this is Sydney. We're back here. Let's fill up with water. And let's move on into town. And we desperately need some gear now. And come back across this big old base that we saw earlier on. the old zombie. Now if we could get in here, this may well help us along our route. Tent. Uh, we ain't getting in there, we've got no tools. Okay, time to move on. The right decision here was to get out of town as quickly as possible. It's just too hot for us right now. We don't have any ammo and we don't have any weapon. So we've headed north of the map and we come across this base. So now it's time to try and crack this code as quickly as possible. And we've got to be really careful here because there's a lot of activity going on and we could get shot at any moment. So having said that, a few minutes later we've managed to crack the code. So we take a look inside, there's a couple of tents and some crates and there's a couple of little bits that we can now use. But there's nowhere near the kind of gear I was hoping to try and run into. So we put the code lock back on, we know the combination now and you never know, that may come in handy at a later time. So we've headed a little bit further up in the northern region and as you can see we are really struggling for food right now. So we've slaughtered the cow. We're going to have to wash our hands after this. We need to get some firewood. And then we need to cook this meat up. So we've headed to a little log cabin that's on the outskirts of town. Where we've managed to wash our hands and cook some of this food up. From here onwards though. We're going to take one more trip to the well. Just feel completely up on the water side of life. And that doesn't look good. There's a dead zombie here. Someone's been here very recently. So, time to go. And we're going to push back on in a northern direction. Past the little cabin that we've set alight. And then we run into a second base. And it just so happens that we're in luck again. Oh. oh, here we go. Another free code lock here. We 
Just having a little look around the sides, just to see if this has already been hit, or if someone's gained entry from the back. And it looks all complete. It looks all fortified. So back to coke wrecking. This one's taking us a little longer. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, we get some really good supplies here. It's in a good location, it's hidden away nicely. So what have we got? Okay, well that's promising. Large tent, a load of crates. Well, there is quite a bit here, but again, none of it's top range gear. We don't really need anything from here. It's time to get out of here. So we head off back into the woods when we come across a rather large structure. Quite a decent size. Nice. A massive base. Doesn't appear that anyone's actually home right now but this looks like it's quite recently built we'll see if there's any uh, any damage around any of the sides and if oh well, there you go so okay so it's open at the back crates are empty there are logs up here is someone building this or has it been hit it looks like it's been hit but the gate's attached. There's a flagpole here. Crate's empty again. Let's take the rope for the time being, in case that may come in handy. And best check upstairs. Worms, okay. Now there's no lakes around here, so uh, I don't quite know where they're gonna go fishing. But there's nothing up here. There's no nails anywhere, either. Okay, so this has clearly been hit. Well, we've seen enough of that. Uh, time to go, and push on. So we've arrived on the western side of Zelisi. And we're just having a little look to see if there's any obvious signs of anyone about. And so far, everything looks abandoned. I haven't come across anybody. So, I'm not quite sure what's going on in this whole area, this whole, this whole map. But I guess we're going to find out. The question I'm asking myself right now is, am I the only survivor left? So we've got into the market area of the lease. We've come across a truck. The wheels are off it. 600 storage capacity. Nothing's in it. So we're just going to fill up on water here. It just feels like there's something not right. Okay, so we're going to push forward. We've gone back out to the western edge. Where, if I'm not mistaken... Now that doesn't look familiar. There should be a ravine down this way. But there is a huge rock here instead. So let's check this out. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a bunker. Okay. Well, let's go and check the bunker out. So there's the tree, tree trunk blocking the right hand exit. Gas mask, don't need that. Okay, that's interesting. Let's move on uphill. Up here. 
Yeah. This all looks a little odd. Can't get in. Shot the tree down. That'll be why you can't get in. Nice little defensive mechanism there, but uh, very easy to resolve. Some of the crates, they're all empty. Nice stacking system there, but uh, nothing in them. I should imagine this will be, yeah, there you go, this is empty as well. Might as well uh, pack this up. What is going on? Everything's uh, decayed or old. Or been, um, it looks like it's ruins, and it's, it looks recent ruins as if as if something major's happened all over this map. Very strange setup. Now this is a military tower and it's not far off the road to Palana. It's pretty isolated. There isn't anything on the outside, no obvious signs of base or players, people about here. But you never know with these things. We're going to give it a little check anyway. No, empty. Oh shit. There's a four code dial here. Interesting. There's nails on the stairs. Let's just check the rest of this place. Okay. Don't need any of that. Nothing there. Nope, nothing there. It's got some great views from up here. There's nothing about at all up here. Okay, that's the direction we're going to be heading in. So we've headed southeasterly, and after quite a bit of time, ended up in a town called Dolnik. Wait, hold on. There's a huge base here. Jesus. I'm have to get an elevated position to even look in there. Fenced off inside these buildings as well. Let's have a look at that a minute. Yeah, that's all fenced off in there as well. Look. So that's all fenced off as well. Jesus, this carries on. It's still going. Look. Have they fenced off the entire bloody town there? Four code there. Oh my god, look, it's still going. <laughs> they fenced off the entire town. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. I need to get in there. There's tents and all kinds. Look, tents up there. Tents down there. If I can get in there, by any means. We may be able to get some quality gear here. And it's still going on. Look at that. It still goes on all the way back here. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Is there any building errors? That's the question. Is there any building errors where I can jump over? Doesn't look like there is. There may be. That's Kogok. Okay, so that's Kogok. Bloody hell. Look at this. There are multiple factions here, clearly. I stand on that. <laughs> oh, I thought I was in there. Mm. Oh, there are tents everywhere. There you have it. <sighs> Dead zombies and stuff in the road here. Whoever was in Dolnik had clearly left. And then we step into this. Hey, hey. Worn, pristine, okay. It's got everything in that we would need. Ah, oh, it's a full tank. Yo, let's go. We can now get out of here and go pretty much anywhere that we need to get to and I'm thinking the first sites we need to hit are going to be the military sites but little did I know over here 
If you crash, you're in a bit of trouble. What is going on here? So if you crash, shit falls out. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's interesting. Base here. Part of me says, let's go and check this out. Very, very quickly check this place out. See if it's still active. It looks like it is, to be fair. What is going on here, though? <laughs> Four dial code on it. They've covered the well. So that is firmly, firmly in place. Four dial code on it. Alright. So we know that there is another another big old group that's uh, operating this area. Now, to get down to Swarov, we first need to pass Nadball. And just as we do, shots kick off. Oh, shit. taken out here. So we managed to get past Nadbor unharmed and we are now in the southeast corner of Swarov. We need to get in here and see what we can get. leave the car here for the time being and we're going to run up to Swarov just see if we can see anything first of all we'll scout it out and then hopefully we'll get in there and try and recover some gear oh great right in front of a fucking zombie Don't want to be setting him off. Don't need a light bulb. KAM, that's handy. might be a player. That may well be a player. Well, 
it's gone quiet. If it is a player, then he's upstairs camping. We're going to have to take a look. So we've managed to grab a KAM from Swarog. There is no one else about. We couldn't find the other guy that was there. And we decided to go back now and set up base. Unfortunately, there was another slight little hookup on the way back. As you can see, our tyre has fallen off. So we fix the tyre and we get going again. And after a good half an hour of searching around, we've decided on a location that is going to be our base of operations. And we park the car, head back down towards the tents that we found earlier on. And we're going to go and take one or two of these large tents. And we're going to hide it somewhere deep in the forest. Just going to chuck some gear in there that we no, need, no longer need to carry with us. And then we need to focus on our food and our water supplies. We need to fix our clothing. And we also need to warm ourselves up. So we've got a little bit of do here. Quite a nice little location. And now we're replenishing our stocks. Ah, this is the life. Now you may recall, the day previous, we had an encounter at the military barracks down south. Well, this guy reached out over the radio, and we hey, decided to meet up for a chat. Yo, yo, how you doing? <coughs> nice to meet you, bud. Alright. Let me, uh... Let's get in. We're gonna pick up a teammate at the base first, and then we're gonna go up north to uh, rescue a, a friend that is in, in desperate need of just that. You, uh, you're Squiggy. Yeah. We, we are ECR, Easy Company Regiment. Corbett, this is Vovka. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Hi, hey, nice, nice, nice to meet you, Cobra. And you, man. I mean, what looks worse, the fucking zombie or, or this guy? <laughs> yeah, that's that's something special, that is. Yeah, this this is this is night. Uh, this is night. Embarrassingly, our our second in command. Black. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, man. Hey, Cobra. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey. nice to meet you. Hey, guys. I'm ECR, second in command, Night Parrot. My name's Squiggy. Um, I'm the leader of ECR. So, with the introductions out of the way, and an agreement now in place, I was invited along for a potential raid. But oh, first, there's someone in the tower! Have to there's someone in the tower! Go, 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 go! With that roadblock navigated, okay. it's time to oh, see no, what I'm these out. boys had in store. With daylight on the horizon, okay, so we've got things appear quite optimistic. Mm -hmm. I'm moving to uh, Mustache. I hear a guy jumping. Yeah, same here. Yep, opening gates inside. Yeah. Have they got any platforms to get on top of the church, or are they jumping out the shutters? Yeah, they're jumping on the shutters. They don't have any platforms to get on the church. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for him to open west side. And uh, north side. Watchtower, we're on watchtower. Yeah. Can you sit crouched here? And... Yeah, yeah, I'm there. I'm there. All yours. Someone in the double red. Jump on me and get up, let's go. You in? The three quarters yeah, done. Is. Takes maybe half a minute. Ready? I'm gonna jump now. He's bandaging. Okay, okay, nice okay. Right, cool. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I've got him, I've got him, I've got him! Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fuck me. Let's get these zombies inside here. He's got a ghillie suit. No, there's, some, there's someone else inside. He's bandaging. Ah. Well, maybe he's not dead then.
Jesus that, Christ, that hit, hit that zombie one more hit. Hit, hit that zombie like a thousand. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? It's like that. Oh way. my god, building just became a fucking pain in the ass. Got him again. You got him? Yeah. So you got one up to my left in the tower. And you've got yeah. one one in the end tent. Is it? Is it oh, he's opening. He's opening. He's opening. Yeah. He is proper fucked. This other one. There was three of them. One of them's definitely. Dead. Got him. I hit him in the face. In the fucking face. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice. nice. He's down. In the face. There's no way he fucking. There's absolutely no way he fucking. Uh, okay, let's let's be quick. Survive then. that. Yeah, okay, I'm dropping the tools. Dog, pussy. Oh motherfucker! Oh. I'm bad, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, motherfucker. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Shoot me. All right. His mate's trying to distract me because his other mate is yeah. lying on the floor. <laughs> so. Yeah. I know. I fucking hit him square in the face, man. How did he tank that? I have no idea how this boy is still alive. Like, not even the helmet. In the face. There's, there's only the part that was showing with his mat. His little... Mask. Oh, poor Dale. <laughs> Fucking hell. Then, after he's done these tactics. Uh, <laughs> but that just calls for good wine. wine. They're playing it out on the speakers. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got people coming in. Fuck, man. I wish I could be there. Yeah, we can cover. Suppress no. shot. Don't shoot me, please! I really didn't get gay! <laughs> so you should be suppressed. Come on! I'm up. Cobra. Uh huh. Oh. It's like you shooting. No, someone's shooting me. Oh. I've been shot, but I'm alright. From where? Do you know? I don't know where from. Dude, this music's actually the thing where it comes from. Holy fuck. <laughs> Welcome back, Lid. <laughs> oh, I have to go. What? I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna drop all the stuff in the shed. Okay, alright, Lid. Alright, I'll come over. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, yeah. They're throwing grenades out there. Be careful, no, man. actually, no. Someone's behind us, trying to throw grenades yeah. into the church. Someone is behind us, yeah. Yeah, they're over here. That's where I got sniped from. On on this side. Uh, yes. Let's let's fucking backtrack. All right, we we are we are boarding. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, let's get let's let's get the fuck out of here. So we've only two of us now left. We felt we'd best to come back another time. So the following day, we log in and decide to head over to Sydney, where you may recall, we found a big old base there earlier on in our story. Hey, what's up, Cobra? Nice, I just did it to the bottom here, is it? Oh, fuck, we don't even need another uh, level. We can just run and jump oh, no, over you here. Can just, you can jump in, yeah. Yeah, Flit's already in there. Oh, he's already trying to hack codes. <laughs> Three dollars, have they? No, four, but he's no, been way too optimistic. <laughs> Uh, what is that about being optimistic? You pessimistic Did you just... fuck. <gasps> He's opened the door. This guy you just dead. opened the door! <laughs> Don't talk to me oh. like that, Squiggy. Don't talk to me what like that. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, they, they have bear traps in the compound. Be careful. Clo a four dial in this tent with the oh, four, five, six, seven. Oh, they fucked up. So like, they fucked There's up. no way they're this stupid. Oh, they <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, that let's test funny. other locks. Oh, my I, God. I, I already tested the back gate. It's something else. That's me. Okay. There was a truck here at I the mean, back. I mean, they don't well. have anything though, like... They might have inside. They've got loads of bear skins at the back here. No, I mean, I am inside, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're inside. Flip, flip. Oh, point. shit. Flip, put that, put that code lock back on the door. We don't want them to know that we have access. If you go to the back house, there's tents and there's loads of fucking food. I've got a shitload of nails here. A KAM here even, if you want it. Nice. Oh well. 
This truck is definitely coming back with this. There's 556 five, in here, Squiggy. Oh, nice, nice. And Nails, oh, yeah. Oh, boys, there is shitloads of food in here. Loads of food. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, food is now oh, what we need. <laughs> so they are they are active right now. Oh, yeah. They're definitely active. That's what they've got in here, then. A load of shites. There's a pickaxe there, though. <laughs> Always oh, yeah, that's my trusty, trusty tool. <laughs> that's all, that's all I have. Look at all the bear pelts. Lol. Drop that out. So many, it's crazy. This is like a bear fetish. What's going on here? I mean, I get that they make stuff with the tents and stuff, but I mean, Jesus. All these gates are pre-built. Yeah. Jesus, and the watchtowers are as well. Uh, where's the flag? I want. To... Where is it? I want to remove it. Oh, do they even have they don't one? Have a flag? They don't have a flag. They've got a whole crate full of rope here. They don't have max or ammo. It's weird. Because hmm, that's it. We we there's nothing else to uh to loot to raid. I don't think so. Go, go. Oh, I see yeah, chest in front of me. Stuff, but... Well, I think I think what's happening now, Geralto, this is the same group that split up. Geralto, they, I think all the effort has gone into Geralto because all the loot's there. Yeah, to yeah. To go back there. Yeah. How far away are you? Uh, how far away are you from finishing this bit off? And just like that, it was time to move on. We are good. On our way out of town. We had received some new intelligence to state that this base belonged in fact to the team we had encountered in Geraldo, that we had now wiped out their last supplies so and they had we left parked the, the truck back in ECR's base. We closed up for the night and it was time now to get down to my little base where we could start sorting things out and securing things up. We've decided to create one gate with a tent behind where we are gonna dump all of our hard-earned gear right down south in a very difficult place to find so I think we're gonna be safe for a little while here and as you can see day has turned to night and it's time to get going again now it was clear my time on this server was coming to an end. But we couldn't conclude matters without having first hit the biggest base on this server. So you're building a siege tower now, right? Or not? Or are you jumping? Uh, uh, we, we, we're building a siege, but Flit. Flit and Jace are pretty much the same, always finding weaknesses and ways to get in. I like this. It's a, it's a cultural thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you can get on me. Uh, squiggy crouch. Oh, I'm nearly... uh, Cobra, can you stand up next to him? Uh huh. You should be able to get on me now and get over here. Yeah. yeah. Are you in? He's in? Yes. He's in? <laughs> yeah, boys. Can you get on the roof? Uh, if we had one more player, crouch where oh, you are now, God. and you're in. Oh, oh. Alright, the risk is real. Yeah, you, but you're, aren't you under the... Uh... Nice. Yeah, alright, so like that. Yo, yeah, 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 boys, we're up. We're in. Well done. There we go, boys. Um, we are in. Jace, can we get in or should we start building the watchtower? Or yeah, we need... Uh, anyway. Yeah, we, we need... We need... We need a... No, I think you can get in. I know. I'm Best gonna start dismantling the next part. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next frame is open as well. Nice food. Oh my god. Yo, here you go. I'm on top of the roof. I'm in. Nice. So it's, that's an easy one, boys. You can bypass all of this now. Nice. Just go Except... on the watchtower, come around the wall, jump up onto the roof, and you're in. Oh! Oh, I'm knocked. I'm knocked. Uh, I, I just broke my leg. Off, Fuck me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, I'm staying in the watchtower. 
Oh yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him. I dropped sticks on your feet, Squiggy, for a splint. Are you covering the front side of beige or not? I'm covering the side and the back of beige right now. Because you're on the roof, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm covering the, the wall, basically, the wall side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In beige? Yeah, I think so. I lit him up at the back. Okay. Yeah, the bunkers, then it's straight west. Who's by the greenhouse? No, not us, not us. Okay, I'll see That's him. him, that's him. He's creeping at the back yep. of the compound greenhouse. Let's stay yep. there. Yep. He's gone out of my view. He's in the shadow by the house to the left of the greenhouse, and I haven't got a view of that. Shit. Right, if he comes out, I've got a shot on him. Much good. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, good, good shit. You're on the north side of the base now? Yeah, be careful. He may be on the other side of that roof, mate, on the ground. He's in the tent, wait, I see him. Oh, uh, you reckon you see him? Nice, nice, nice. Did you get him? Did you kill him? I think so, yeah. Okay, I'll come down with you. We'll both rush him. Hold on. I'm in I the inside base now. Okay, I'm on the ground. I'm I can't, on the ground. I, can't dead. I think he's dead. Okay, I'm on the I ground. I can't pick up any. Make sure he's dead now. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Nice, guys. Nice. He's nice. his buddies. <laughs> he definitely is now. I'm coming out. That's a point. Five, five, six. Nice. Nice. I'm nice. next nice. to the base. Did he have a saline on him? We'll take his um, dog tags. No. But he's very kindly donated an M4, so that's very good of him. Nice, nice, nice. Is nice, that nice. what he actually lit me up with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh. M4. Are you taking his shit here? I'm taking that M4 for now, yeah. Yeah, you don't, yeah. <laughs> how, it sounds like how you is his, uh, How is his vest? Does he have any clothes on him? Because he, he has ruined my shirt. Plate carrier. I think uh, it's this building here that's going to have the gear in, boys. Definitely. Did, so did someone check uh, double beige? We're gonna try oh, and break the four code. Chase, I like it. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh no, this is some. Oh my god, I, my legs fixed. Oh, 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 Wait, 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 wait. I'm knocked at the, at the entrance. I'm inside, I'm holding beige. Let me know when you get in. Are you continuing to hard crack? Yes. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Right. He's trying to throw nades where the watchtower we tried to build originally at the front. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Here, another that... grenade. Your grenade behind me. Smoke grenade outside. Smoke yeah. grenade outside. Okay, there's somebody what? behind me outside. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Getting shot at. I'm fucking knocked. Oh my god, I just got shot. Yeah, yeah, he's up. he's up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's up exactly there. there, there I'm there. dead. Fuck. He's up on the road where you came in by the truck. Uh, all the explosives are outside. Well, not all, but there's some in the truck near my body. We need to cover your body because if those, you. Yeah, I've yeah, got yeah. explosives and right by the truck. Yeah, you're good to be co cracking at the moment. You're all good. I've got you covered. I'm going to blow up this fucking door, huh? Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah. I would just blow it. Fuck it. Just start yeah. blowing up shit. Because we are yeah. stuck inside as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so I've just taken damage there. Grenade to me. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Where's our... Oh, God, that's Karma. Karma right there. That's out the front. How many was all of them, Rooney? Oh. And they have got all my shit. Oh, from behind. Fuck sakes. Oh, God. There's someone either in piano or opening piano. He closed the door. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I got him, I got him, got him, got him. So he's crouching down in that window, right? Mate, I've got a perfect shot if he moves. Yo, got him, got him. You got yeah, him. hit him. Yeah, I yeah. don't think he's dead though. No, no, no he's no. still walking around. No, no, he's not dead. Got him again, mate. Uh, I'm a little bit higher, <laughs> right behind you. Got him, got him, he's, yep, down. he's down, he's dead, he's dead, nice. Who's that, who's that? What the fuck? Yeah, I just killed a guy. Where? Right Where? here, he looked. Yeah, here. 
<laughs> Fuck me. Right there. <laughs> shit. Good shit, man. That's right fucking behind me as well. Right. I'll take his night vision just so that we've got it. Right, hold on. The other guy may be in the window now, then. <laughs> That's fucking funny, that is. <laughs> Right, this should do the trick. Right, I've got you covered if you're trying that out. The doors are all shut, the windows are clear. Oh my god, I fucking oh. cracked it. You clicked it, yeah, I saw, I heard. Nice one. Nice, nice. Uh, 30 20. Are we able to oh, get 30 out? 20 ain't this one? Oh, they had an AUK and then suppressed M4. Another M4. Nice. Well, I am definitely yoinking that arc. That's delicious. Oh shit, it's three tents up here. All yours. <laughs> this has worked out quite nicely, boys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that that click is such a good feeling. Yeah, it's satisfying, isn't it? All right, I've got there. What I've done is, so you boys know, we'll distribute this later, obviously, back at base. Uh, but uh, I've taken the M4 from here as well. You changed the lock, yeah? Uh, not yet. I'm making the code right now. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. So that can come off. That can go on. Oh, they've given me a nice new backpack as well. Look. So I'm going to give them... I uh, the code. I'm going to write it down. Uh, so... Ruin the backpack. 9870. 9870, copy. Got it. Got ourselves a comfy new house. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that one's beefy. Yeah, yeah that's nice. That. You guys push out. I'm going to close up behind us. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's push up. Ooh, what the heck? Be careful there. And are you crawling over from there, are you? Okay. I'll be next. Nice, nice, nice. There you go, there you go. We're out, we're out. Are you good getting out? I should be here. Uh... Alright, cool. Oh, they ruined all the gas canisters, mate. Yeah, they did not want to take this. I've got. I just brought. Uh, I just grabbed another two load of night vision, so we're good. I'm crawling. Where's the truck at, though? Isn't it up, up there? The hill. Oi, Suka, thank you for the arc. Alright, let's go. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. <laughs> so what an adventure this has been. We hit a new server that looked completely deserted at one point. Broken down bases everywhere. And then all of a sudden, the big groups that lived here began to show their faces. We get into an encounter, a deadly encounter, down in the military barracks and then we receive a message via the radio requesting a meeting and that meeting led to one of the best friendships we have had on our time in this server where we hit base after base and were successful as it turns out we are the last survivors <laughs>